Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with all the resources you need to become a successful author. You can learn more about Authors Unite and join the free community at authorsunite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have Steve Haru with us. He's the president and co-founder of Next Level Sales Coaching, a keynote speaker, and a sales trainer extraordinaire. So welcome to the show, Steve. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks for having me, bro. Appreciate it. Of course. Thanks for uh, coming on, man. And uh, we will dive in. The first question I have for you is, what's the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? And best story from my life. I'll try to make this one quick. Uh, From probably second grade through freshman year of college, I did not say one word. Uh, Not a dance, not a date, not a prom, nothing. And uh, my first foray into sales was actually with Cutco Knives when I was 18 years old, freshman year of college. And uh, I never sold anything in my life, deathly afraid of people. But What I found was being honest with people was really something that I thought I should do in sales. I didn't follow the scripts or the manuals or anything like that that they wanted me to say. I actually ripped up the script they told me to say because it was so salesy and and manipulative. And I just told people, hey, these knives are expensive. Uh, I love them. They're really good. And uh, I ended up number one in the country in uh, my senior year of college with Cutco. And so... Again, you would have never thought I would have been successful in sales because I was the quietest kid in the world. And that just shows you all that sales is something that can be learned. It's a language. It's not something you're born with. And so I'm really proud of that. And now I speak to thousands of people and I love it. And you would have never thought that if you saw me in high school. Incredible lesson. Thanks for sharing that, Steve. Um, And what's the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? So the most valuable piece of information I could share with everybody is to live in integrity. Um, so many people in sales, they want the, uh, the magic bullet, the secret script, the manipulation. Um, when you tell the truth, you don't have to remember what you said. So living in integrity, being honest and, and living with humility are really three keys to being super successful in sales. And no matter what you see the gurus telling you about being slick and, you know, go for it and close A, B, C, all that stuff. I just don't believe you have to do that um, to achieve greatness in sales. And what's your best piece of overall business advice? So not necessarily industry specific. Build relationships. I mean, it's, it's so important that, you know, everybody hears that sales is a numbers game, which is just so old school and outdated. Um, sales is a numbers game for one certain type of person. And those are the people that suck at sales. It's not just <laughs> blindly calling 500 people and hoping you hit the jackpot. Um, you really have to work on your craft. So that's probably how I would say. Um, building relationships is the key because I'd rather make six calls and meet six clients than make 600 calls to meet the same six. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? Oh, man. Uh, Don't be money motivated. Um, I wish I'd learned that a long time ago because I was always about uh, being number one, hitting quota, getting bonuses. And I wasn't really happy with where I was personally. Um, I didn't have a lot of relationships back when I started in selling. It was just about getting numbers. Um, But now that I don't focus on money at all, it's meaningless to me. Uh, Impacting lives and helping people is what really matters. Um, The money will come. And uh, if if you just focus on that, you're never going to be happy because you're always going to try to get the next hundred thousand, the next million. And there's no end to it. And this might tie in. So in your opinion, what's the key to happiness? Oh, man, Um, I don't have an alarm clock anymore. I don't use it because I just wake up every day early, excited to do what I get to do for a living. That would be the advice I would give to everybody. And that's what truly makes people happy. If you would do what you do right now for no pay um, and you could see yourself doing it for the next 40 years, 
that's really the key to, to what's made me happy is just impacting lives on a daily basis as much as I can. Um, and it's, it's taken me, you know, geez, 40 years, you know, to get to that point. Some people never find it. Some people find it right away. Um, but that would be my advice, guys, is find something that gets you up in the morning every day that you would do for free. And what's the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from that? Man, um, best book I've read is probably Think and Grow Rich uh, by Napoleon Hill. And the, the, the lesson to get from that, that that really could change your life is that your mind is a powerful thing. It's much more powerful than you give it credit for. Um, and writing a check, you know, maybe you guys have seen this. Jim Carrey wrote himself a check for $10 million dollars literally when he was homeless five years later he cashed the check so i have a check in my wallet that i'm going to cash in 2020 and it's all about mindset thinking about that every single waking moment of whatever it is you want to achieve in life you can get there you just have to believe you can get there that's what that book taught me and what's your favorite quote and why favorite quote uh jim Rohn. Uh, R-O-H-N, not the radio host, is an amazing thought leader and wish I had the chance to meet him, is you are the average of your top five friends. So you got to think about everybody, the company you keep and who are you hanging around. If you hang around successful people, you're going to be successful. If you hang around negative people, you're going to be negative. Yes. Thank you so much, Steve. So much value in this episode. The uh, last question I have for you before we let you go is where's the best place for people to find you online? So best place you guys can find us at nextlevelsalescoaching.com. You can also find me on LinkedIn, Steve, S-T-E-V-E, Haru, H-E-R-O-U-X. And you can find me on Instagram at the Steve Haru. Um, thanks again, man. Really, really appreciate the time, Tyler. And hope it was helpful for somebody out there. Of course. Thanks again for coming on, Steve. Thanks so much, brother. Talk to you soon. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.